Okay, today we're going to take apart a Droid X MB810. That's the complete teardown. Um, you're going to need case opening tool or guitar pick if you wish. They, they work, but I prefer using those. You need a Torx T4 bit and a Torx T5 bit. Um, okay, so mine I got, uh, it's a cobalt, so get it at Lowe's if you wish, but get yours wherever you want. Let's begin. First, take the back cover off, of course. There we go with that. Then, take the battery out. Just like that. Next step is two t Torx T5 screws that need to come out right here and right here. Put my T5 in here. One, two. This droid also has a uh, SanDisk micro SD card in there. We'll take that out. <coughs> Excuse me. Put those away. Okay. Step one. Step two. We need to take this back cover off. And it's just a matter of prying it, of prying it off. But first, before we do that, you need to remove the top cover and the bottom cover, where the screws which hold that cover are. So we'll go with um, my case opening tool. Best way to open this is like this in that direction. So we'll go with that. Just pry it underneath. There's a bit of adhesive there, but it's not much and basically pull it up and off just like that and the reason for that is that you open it like this is because it's got two locks here so the best way to open it is like that and you got one off same with the bottom it opens up the same way and just ta -da, there we go now if you look carefully here you'll see that there's a microphone there's a little piece of rubber here on this microphone that might come off if it comes off just put it, it's, I don't think it's even got any adhesive on it, just holds it on there by pressure. Make sure you put the piece of rubber back on, okay? Because that makes a difference in the sound quality of this phone. Okay, next we take off these T5 screws right here. One. Two, three, four. Now I, you know, just a standard warning. I take no responsibility for any damage you do to your phone, uh, or, you know. Your, the voiding of your warranty because doing this will void your warranty. Okay, next step we need to remove the upper half. And there's one clip here, one clip here. Then we'll just run it along the side. There's clips along the side too. Careful though, like I said, there's there, there are data straps or that go along the edges so try not to dig too far or too hard just pry a little bit just like that Flip right there See in here, there's the little tab that's holding it. I'll just use my little screwdriver to get that out. There we 
go. Ta-da. And like I mentioned before, the small tab, the small rubber covering to the microphone has come off. It goes back on like that right there. Okay? But, you know, I'll leave it off because I know it's going to fall off again. So we'll just take it right there. Just remember to put that rubber tab back on. Next thing we need to do is remove the antenna right there. And that takes the antenna away. Then you lift the camera carefully out a little bit. The other thing you're going to need to do, and we'll get to it here in a second, you have two straps here that have to come off. Now these are going to be covered with a black um, tape. And that black tape needs to be removed. Now be real careful with that black tape because it's really sticky and really hard to get off. And you can damage these components in taking that off. Okay, so be careful. Okay, we're going to lift here. Ta-da, one tab. Second tab. Second data cable is right there. And you lift it up like this. Very, very gently. And then pull out the cable. There we go. Antenna cables out. Those data cables are out. This is free to come off. Carefully lift it. Take the camera out of its little slot. And we're up like this. Next step, second data cable on the back, right here. Take that data cable off, and that whole assembly comes off. Next, we have 13. Um, cables that need, oh, sorry, 13 uh, T5 screws that need to come off, sorry, T4 screws that need to come off. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Prior to doing that, these cables need to be removed as well, okay? Once you get this, those uh, 13 T5 uh, screws off, then basically you're, you've gotten at, you can get at the uh, LCD display and the uh, um, touch uh, digitizer. So let's go. These are held on with a, a mild adhesive, so you just pull on them like this, and off they come. There's one, and the second one is here, and this one a little harder, but still. Just carefully, 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 carefully. Peel it off, peel it back. Peel it back to about there. Now there's another cable that needs to come off, and that's right here. And what we do here with that one is lift the locking tab, and then pull the data cable out, data ribbon out. Like that. Ta-da, it's out. Lift this up, and now we're free to take the back metal plate off, this back plate. Take that off right now. Man, screwdriver is missing, it's losing its magnetism. But. Remember to use a T4, that way you don't strip them. The other screws are T5s, but these are all T4s. Again, I think the toughest part of taking these things apart will be that black sticky tape that you, like you didn't see on this one because it's been taken off prior to, but it will be there when you take a brand new phone or a phone that's never been taken apart before, apart. Now 
salt. Okay, you got all the screws off. Then basically you just lift this off. There's a little bit of adhesive here. And it sticks pretty good. There it goes, comes off. And there's your LCD and your digitizer. If you wish to remove the digitizer, just pull it off. Uh, it's held by, on by an adhesive that goes all the way around here. And then just reassemble it. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped you. Have a great day.